when people ask me about why I work in this business or they ask me, you know, what difference does the community college, the local two-year college really make in people's lives, I have to tell my own story. I grew up about 60 miles from here in a holler. Uh, my dad wanted boys, he got me, so I was a farm girl and I could throw hay bales and uh, stack them on a wagon. Um, and I also knew that there was more in life for me. It took me 10 years after high school before I found that pathway, but because that two-year college was accessible to me, I had the ability to start taking a few classes to get ahead at work. Um, I was divorced. I found myself to be a single parent. I had to put a life together for my daughter and for myself. The two-year college gave me the opportunity to do that. I went on to earn an associate degree in math and science, and quite frankly, the confidence that I could do college work. Nobody had really talked to me much about that in high school. So I went on to earn a bachelor's, a master's, a PhD, a law degree, and a postdoctorate in business law. I'm very proud of all those accomplishments, but I'm most proud of the fact that I had that ability to start at a two-year college that was close to home, that opened the doors to me, that made this accessible. And because of that, I'm able to sit before you today and talk to you as the president of one of these great institutions. I'm Betty Young, and I'm president of Hawking College. Hawking College was established in the 60s, part of what was a national movement around creating technical and junior college education uh, for people close to their homes. And so Governor Rhodes, who uh, really had this vision for Ohio, um, his idea was there should be a college within 50 miles of every student. In the programming that we have and, and in the faculty who teach here, um, people live in the community. We're very much the fabric of uh, southeastern Ohio. So when Hawking College began, the School of Natural Resources was established and the School of Nursing. That's because there was a need in the region. Hawking College is located here in the middle of the Hawking Hills, and we are right in the heart of the Wayne National Forest. So the culture of Southern Ohio is one of a people who are resilient, who might get knocked down, but always ready to get up, the can-do attitude. And I think you see that across the campus here. Hawking College has always built on the assets of the region. And so uh, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, the federal government, many were interested in how we could prepare those who would work in the park system, both at the state and the federal level. Of course, our local hospitals had a need for nurses. And so it made sense that Hawking College would prepare RNs and we've been doing that now ever since those very early days. That has evolved over time where colleges now are more comprehensive. So at Hawking College, of course, you can continue to do the technical programs, but you also have the opportunity to do a general education program and transfer to a four-year university where you can complete a bachelor's degree. So it's an opportunity to have a stepping stone, a place that's gonna feel like home to you, that you're gonna be comfortable, that you're gonna know people. People here are gonna have many grown up in the same communities that you did. So Hawking College is a resource for the community. It's not just an educational center. We have wealthy people. We have people who come from middle class society. We have others who have had various kinds of trauma in their life. We have foster youth that come to Hawking to find their way. But it's also brought many students to the region that would have never been or had the opportunity to live in this area and learn in this area. And so that's generated a local economy, particularly in the town of Nelsonville here where we're physically located. And as a result of Hawking College being here in an economically distressed area, we've had the opportunity to help many people who want to live and work here be able to do just that whether they're police officers, firefighters, nurses, accountants, uh, chefs, the list goes on and on. They've been able to prepare for middle-class careers, middle-class jobs with upward mobility right here at Hawking College. And the initiatives that we have here are focused on not only the individual development of these folks that, that come here as students, but also the possibility of being entrepreneurs. 
So we operate many entrepreneurial ventures across the college. At Lake Snowden, for example, we have a campground and we have a water park. And our natural resource students have the opportunity to learn firsthand what it would be like to own and operate their own campground, their own water park, or to work for somebody else in that capacity. We own a distillery. We own a brewery. Uh, we have a cannabis testing lab. These are all things that people can do in working for somebody else or they can do uh, as an entrepreneur. Our chefs have the opportunity to work at Rhapsody, our fine dining restaurant here in Nelsonville. They learn how to operate a restaurant. Now they may work for somebody in the restaurant or they may choose at some point to own and operate their own restaurant. And the list goes on. Our students are learning not only the craft of their profession that they're choosing, but they're also learning the mindset and what it takes to be an entrepreneur in these various fields. It's a real advantage, and it's a real part of economic development locally. So we've created maker spaces. So we have these beautiful labs on campus. We have a woodworking lab. Uh, we're in development right now for our fabrics lab. We have an art department that has glass blowing and various kinds of medium that students can work in. And these spaces are also open to the public. So Hawking College is very special in many, many ways. So our dorm life and the programs that surround that, including our athletics program on campus, co-curricular activities, clubs and organizations, these are all part of a college experience. And for our two-year college students, they have the same advantage of having that experience at a college like Hawking College that they would have if they went on to a university. I tell people all the time here that we have a social mission, but we're going to run this social mission with business precision, and that's made us affordable for students. Something unique that we did this year is we started all-inclusive pricing. So in the past, students came to college, you paid the tuition bill, and then you went to the bookstore and maybe you had to buy $1,000 worth of books, you needed a uniform, you needed some tools for the trade. So each of these were additional costs. Now with all-inclusive pricing, we tell you exactly what that total cost is and everything is provided for the student. No surprises. No surprises for the parents that may be helping that student pay for their education. We also have dorms and the, don't discount that. The opportunity for a student to live away from home, still at a much more affordable price than they ever would be able to do at a university, public or private, be able to come here and have that experience and to grow up and mature is an important thing. We're very focused on the development of our students, so not just in the classroom, but also their life outside of the classroom. One thing I'm sure of at Hawking College is that there will be continual change because we as a society are going to have continual change. The good news is Hawking College remains adaptable and flexible and will be quick to respond to the change in the economy, change in uh, workforce development programs, technology. We're prepared uh, very much so to make those kinds of changes. We also have a local board and that local board brings great value to the college in that they are invested in this local community. So they're very uh, dedicated to seeing to it that Hawking remains relevant, not just for today, but for the future. When I came to Hawking College, I found a college rich in tradition and relevance to its local community. We've been developing a workforce for the region and beyond for 50 years. And the college is well positioned with the innovative leadership of the past to prepare it for relevance for the future. And that's what we've been doing, reinventing Hawking College for the next 50 years. The actual written mission statement has changed from time to time, but the heart of it is the same. And I think uh, the mission statement, the way it's written today, is probably most reflective of the last 50 years and certainly the vision for the coming 50 years. And it's very simple. We serve. By the way, I always tell people, if you can't remember the whole mission statement, just remember those first two words. We serve as a pathway to prosperity teaching and inspiring all of those who seek to learn, changing lives and building careers. It's an awesome mission and it's well aligned with the community's needs.